Planet Dolan. From animals that love to rape to a cannibal you probably owned as a pet, we look at nine cute animals that are secretly monsters. Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm here to caress your brain cells with weird facts from all over the world. Number nine. Starting off our parade of cute monsters is this adorable water deer that looks not that different to Bambi. But you should definitely think twice before trying to make friends with this Disney character's cousin because they are packing some serious heat. And by heat, I mean huge goddamn vampire fangs. These three inch dental weapons can be drawn in and out of the deer's mouth at will. When attacking, the teeth make a handy weapon to rip out its opponent's throat. This has caused the name Vampire Deer to be commonly used by locals where the deer roam. Number eight. Most people don't realize that one of the worst rapists in the world is living in the pond down the road. You wouldn't think it, but those cute ducks are actually really, really into forced sex. In fact, at least a third of all duck sex is actually rape. It's so bad that biologically, female ducks are constantly creating new defenses in the bedroom. See, a duck penis is like a weird, gross corkscrew with barbs along it. Anyway, the female biology has several defenses that have evolved, including a vagina with multiple pathways that lead nowhere. Ugh, and now duck ponds are ruined for everyone. Number seven. Normally, we're shown seals as lovable buffoons that just want to sit around all day and eat fish. But the truth is much worse. For leopard seals, that is. They're actually one of the most dominant predators in the Antarctic. They can survive on krill and plankton, but they really like to hunt bigger prey. Known to hunt down squids, these seals can be vicious. They even hunt down penguins because why the hell not? It's the Mac Daddy of Antarctica and will kill anything. There are even reports from people that they have been stalked by leopard seals. Honestly, they were just lucky to get out alive. Number six. You know how cats will try to manipulate you to give them extra food? Well, in the wild, that skill is monstrous. Margays are a small wild cat that live in Central and South America. They look very cute, and they mentally torture their prey. See, cats in general are pretty good mimics. You might have seen a house cat trying to mimic birds before. Margays, however, prey on monkeys, so they mimic the cries of monkey babies. These cries lure helpless, do-gooding monkeys to their doom. There's something so insidious in manipulating the helpful nature of these poor monkeys. Margays are nature's true psychopath. Number five. Australia is host to some of the most dangerous animals on Earth, but you probably didn't know that the platypus was one of them. These kinda cute but also kinda ugly guys are normally seen as harmless little mammals. But that's when you don't know they're actually carrying some serious venom in those paws of theirs. Using it in breeding season as a weapon, these barbs pierce the victim's skin and instantly the venom goes to work. While the venom is not deadly to humans, it does cause large amounts of swelling and pain. The pain is so intense that morphine has no effect on easing it. Number four. Holy crap, look at these guys' little faces. It's like someone took all their best parts of sloths, lemurs, and monkeys, and Frankenstein this thing together. It's actually a slow loris. And also like Frankenstein, it can be deadly to humans. The slow loris carries a venom that is stored in its elbows. It then mixes saliva and bites. The venom can cause death in humans through anaphylactic shock. Scientists currently theorize that the loris has some connection to cobras, as their movement is very similar when agitated or threatened. Plus, the whole poisoning thing. They also use their poison saliva to cover their fur. So yeah, don't go to pat this guy. Number three. Swans might seem graceful and elegant, but if you even look at their children the wrong way, they will fuck you up. The animal kingdom's answer for an overly protective parent, swans are perhaps the most vicious when it comes to protecting their young. Normally, an animal will do just enough to cause a predator to retreat or keep fighting till the attacker gives up. Swans do not see honor in this. They will immediately go from defense to offense, chasing predators down and holding them underwater until they drown. This has even happened to humans, a man was thrown from his kayak by a swan and eventually drowned from the bird's attacks. Number two. That precious little rodent you had in elementary school is actually a goddamn certifiable cannibal. And by rodent, I mean hamsters. 
Hard to believe, but hamsters actually have a real strong desire for hamster flesh, especially baby hamster flesh. While many animal monsters will cannibalize their young for various reasons, hamsters are the champions of it. Mothers will eat some of the female babies if they feel they have too many children to be taken care of, which partially makes sense? Not really sure why the females have to be eaten, but okay. Hamsters will also cannibalize other hamsters that come into their territory, so think twice before getting your pet hamster a friend. Number one. If ducks are the serial rapists of the animal kingdom, then dolphins are a rape gang. Specifically, that they like gang rape what some like to call sexual coercion, like that makes it sound any better, is when two or three male bottlenose dolphins gang up on a female using a combination of threatening noises and beatings to keep her submissive while they, you know, sometimes for weeks. Dolphins are notoriously horny creatures, and there have been a number of human encounters of the sexually aggressive kind. They also like to kill other sea creatures for no reason. Well, People are always talking about how human dolphins are. Okay guys, question time. What's the coolest thing your sibling ever did for you? Let us know in the Reddit page link below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Catch you guys next time. We all love cats, even if some act like they're from another planet. One kitty seems like she might return to the mothership any day now. Matilda, the alien cat. As you can see, Matilda's defining features are her huge glassy eyes.